How's it going, Beast Nation? We're back with some more Pokemon Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke. Sorry if I'm a little bit quieter. It is early as fudge in the morning. So, I'm trying to keep my voice a little bit lower. Um, I'm hoping I fixed the volume, though, with uh, the game audio and my voice, right? The levels, right? Hopefully, it's a little bit better. Hopefully, the music isn't as loud. Uh, thank you, Big, for letting me know. <laughs> But let's continue with this, um, and I hope the graphics are looking a little bit better for you guys. Figured out a way how to just boost them up just a little bit, just to look a little nicer. Just a little bit. I think it looks a little bit nicer to me, so hoping it looks the same way to you guys. But guys, in the last episode, we did try to get our first encounter, and we did accomplish that. But just things happened, so if you missed out on it, make sure you go check it out. So, other than that, let's continue. You battle this evil little kid. He was very evil. Nobody liked him at all. Little Johnny? No. No, nobody liked Little Johnny. Yeah, he, even Timmy across the across the other route. He was just like, nah, dude. Johnny ain't it. He was right. Definitely right. Too hot. Coffee too hot, though, man. My coffee is too hot. Sucks. The Alola region is made up of four islands, and each island has its own guardian Pokemon. A festival today is held to express our thanks to these great Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every, every last one of us here goes all out. Oh yeah? Bro, they party, dog. Look at Poppyo, dude. I think these are new people, though? Honestly? I don't remember seeing people outside. So do you want to talk to them? No, there weren't people outside, right? And yeah, none of them gave me anything. Great. Thank you for being completely useless. What do you want now? Oh, how is it? Danny, man, I thought you never make it. Me and Poppyo have been waiting for ages. Hold on. What did you expect? Oh, yep. Yeah. I didn't go to my mama. Did I go to my mama? I don't think I went to my mama. Oh yeah, right on time. But what exactly? But what exactly? A full powered festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in a friendly competition to please our guardian. Whoa! So you two will be taking part in the battle? I don't like to see Pokemon fight one another, but... Since, since they so often end up getting hurt. But, since it seems like this is an important event, so I'll just be sure to watch you both. Your Pokemon have fought. I feel like I changed his voice, but whatever. Have fought for you so long. To show them the same care and return, not for so long anything. Boy, did I read. <laughs> Allow me to heal them for you this time. There you go. See, now I got, I got back into it. I remembered it. Are you ready for this battle? Remember, this doesn't count? <gasps> no, I'm not. I don't think I put Pikachu in back. Did I just place Pikachu in the front? Yes, and that would have sucked because that is illegal. I think I might even train up Robert because we're going up against a Mega Lopunny. So I'm going to train up Robert <laughs> as well. I could go talk to Mama anyways to heal me up, so... I'm gonna get Robert up to maybe 13? I feel like I could... It's because I don't know the level that we're going to expect... Or we should expect uh, what his face to be at. How? How's it opening? I'm scared to battle this, this little girl. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think this was the safe... Or safe-ish route. No! No! You little... You snitch! Bro, he's, he's a snitch! Wait, so then if I train... I don't think I want to get to... He should be able to touch me, right? That's going to be a lot of experiments. He shouldn't be able to touch me, right? Or at least there's anything that's going to, like, obliterate me. Yeah. 
Bro, what? That gave me nothing. <laughs> awesome. Okay. But that was insane. That, that, that could have been a thing that could have potentially happened. Yeah. Bro, he just doesn't want to be here. Houndor just doesn't want to be here, bro. Look at his face. Man, I don't want to be here. Whoa, what am I doing? Just leave me alone. I'm trying to sleep. That's exactly what I think Houndor sounds like right now. Bro, I'm getting nothing. I kind of want to go maybe just at least one more level. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm not lying here. I don't want to go just one more level. Bobby. Bro, I'm so mad I lost the Pikachu, bro. I'm so mad about that. Look, I mean, it's, it's not my fault. Honestly, I didn't know uh, Weasel got Sonic Boom that early on. I thought it was maybe like level 12. But maybe it was an egg move and he ended up having an egg move on him. I, I, I don't know. But that did just blow, like, blow my mind. There were so many good Pokemon here. Like, honestly, there were so many good Pokemon here. Look at all these good Pokemon. Oh. Headbutt? That'd be good. So I'm gonna have to go back to the other room. Just to go feel. Hopefully, I'm not required to battle anyone. We'll have to see. Let me just do one more battle. And then I'll go back through that route and see if I can go to my mom. This should give me a level, which is good because this is the thing that gives me the most experience, apparently. Now, but this one was a level 5. I might actually be able to one shot this one then. Yep. And this should give me the level. Okay, level 12. Okay. Didn't give me anything in defense, which is kind of something I kind of wanted, but whatever. So, I mean, that's what I'm going to be going up against. Physical attack in mind. Oh my god, dude. That's because that's insane, bro. Why should I have to go up against a mega low bunny? Why can't I get a mega? Tangler. Let's see if I can take you out. I can't. Awesome. I had a feeling I can one shot it, so that's why I was like YOLO. Otherwise, I just wouldn't have risked it. Something up there. I oh, know we battled this kid though. Okay, that's it. Awesome. So now we can go heal and hopefully be safe. Because I'm, I'm also afraid that uh, Pala just doesn't heal my Pokemon again. That would actually suck. Yes, heal my mom. Heal my mom. Heal my mons. I meant mons, not moms. No. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Uh. Okay. So, we'll be done. That's it. We just went up to level 12 and that's it. Now, we see mons like this. I'm going to just take him out real quick if I can more stuff. If I can't, then whatever. Can I one shot a super? It's a level 3 super. I'm pretty sure I can. I one shot it freaking thunderous. I think I can one shot this. Thank you. Yeah, no, I definitely could have forgot it's a uh, far psychic. Stoops. Stoops. Alright. Mm -hmm. Should we battle this girl? Let's battle this girl. Let's see what level she's at. I should be at a pretty good, like almost half her level. Half his level. Sorry. Thank you, Audrey. Roxy. Wow. I think ground resist fire? I don't know. Wow, yeah, I'm more than half his level. Dope. Good. Easy amount of experience. Love it. I'm not. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but yeah, I had a duty. Thanks for the experience, at least. 
but now I have to go battle a much more uh, difficult Pokemon. And I mean much more difficult Pokemon. Hopefully it's just he's, he's like a level 10 tops, level 9. I feel like he might just be a level 12, but... Oh, so he does. Okay, good. I just honestly didn't think he would. So I was like, just in case he does it, might as well go to heal up with my mama. But we are ready to battle. Hopefully my coffee has cooled down a bit too. And not so much. <laughs> for all of our islands, for all life on our islands, and for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts, we pray for your protection. For them and all Mele Mele. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity, Tapu Koko! Before you stands, how grandson of the Kahuna, to the Kahuna. Oh yeah, loser, hi, you suck, oh my god. Ow. Freaking eyelash was bothering me, man. Before, before him stands Danny, one who has met with Tapu Koko. Oh my god, he met with Tapu Koko, oh my god. What a, what a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. Ha, that's just typical of it. Send out, take care of little Danny. Alright, mama, leave me alone. <laughs> as, long as, as long as we both have a good time, then I think we can call it a great battle. I don't know the voice I gave him either. Danny How, bring forth the power of your Pokemon. I shall. Hopefully, it's enough though. <laughs> Please. This point. Easy one shot. Good. But what level are you gonna be at? I'm scared. Okay, but I know your your other Pokemon's gonna be level 12. Your local one is gonna be high level. It's just gonna be a high level. I see the lowest the lowest his his starter is right now is a is a 10. I mean sorry, a 12. I, I could have sworn I put that it kept um starter throughout game, but you know what? I might not have done that. And that's kind of scary because now he has a buzz ball. Yeah. I literally have no choice here. Level 7, okay. Um, that's why we have sad attack? So I'm happy that we do. I'm gonna go for like, as much as possible. He has water gun. Why? Why must you have water guns? Why does Buzzwell have water guns? There's just nothing. It's still scary, man. It's still a scary thought. If it was a higher level, that would have obviously done more damage. Pound. That's gonna do more damage than the water gun, right? Oh, well, no, it's not. It's actually not. I'm gonna go for four. Just because I want this dude to miss. He has yet to miss. Thank you. And I'm scared of a crit, so I'm gonna quickly heal. I have four potions. Should I? I mean, no, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna get 65% oh, I'm gonna heal. Good, he missed. Okay, cool, cool. Now, I think. I don't know. I think uh, fighting with this is dark. I'm gonna check it right now. It does. It does. I could have sworn that it did, and I was correct. So let's try a rage. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing in it. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now he's growling. Great. Go back to the bites, where you can potentially flinch as well. Ugh. Well, I love coffee in the morning, man. Absolutely love coffee in the morning. Uh, come on, Robert. I'm so glad though. I could have sworn though that I, that I, I clicked that box that it, so we can keep the story throughout the game. Cause that's what I like. I like I like for the starter to keep the I like for my rival to keep the starter throughout the game. So then you see it, you know, you know at least one Pokemon that they have, and it just makes sense that they would have that would keep the starter throughout the game. But no, he literally like evolved. He upgraded drastically. He upgraded the local drastically. Oh, 
and then for some reason the Bolt Wolf has Water Gun. So this is, this is gonna be a little harder for Danny here. This Nuzlocke here, because I'm not gonna know what <laughs> I'm not gonna know anything of what he has on his team. Maybe the starter's gonna be random every time. But I guess, I guess so. Thank you. All right. Sorry, buddy. I do. I didn't get a level. I didn't even get a level. Crazy. I know you're better this year. I bet that was a like it too. Dude, that was awesome, Danny. I don't remember the voice I gave him. <clears throat> that was a really great battle. I had a blast fighting you. I think it was more like that. It was a good battle. With this, even Tapu Koko. Oh, you heard it yourself. Tapu Koko's song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it is time you take this step. Now we can use the freaking Z Crystal Rings thingy kebab. Uh. I just slipped it on. I slipped the Z ring on my wrist. <clears throat> Your Z ring, a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokemon. It can bring forth their Z power. Mikakuras can make them by refining stones like. The sparkly stone that you received from Ta Tapu Koko. Although until you collect more Z crystals during your island challenge, you will not be able to draw out the Z power of your Pokemon. And yet, you already you have you have already received that sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you, or perhaps it has a mission for you. In other words, it's time for you to get out up there and start and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what the mission that mission is. Every island? The island challenge, I guess. Four islands! Feel trouble! I love how, like, like they, they, they couldn't even, like, do this. It's just four! It's like, stop! But you, you can't even see his thumb. Oh, you can see his thumb. It just doesn't have that distinct outline to let you know his thumb is there. You'll travel, you'll travel to the four islands here and a lot of the island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer, the island challenge champion. Whoa! Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. I'll explain about the island challenge later. Alright. I kind of want to get another starter, so can we get this going? <sighs> Type of Coke is amazing, isn't it? I hope I can meet it again someday, and thank you for saving Nebby. Me too. It saved you as well, didn't it? And left you with a sparkling stone. Even though you're a stronger, you're a stranger to this place, not a stronger to this place. No. Reading is hard. Suppose it's time we get you get you get home, yeah? Then I suppose it's just goodbye. Oh, chill, girl. We're gonna see tomorrow. We're gonna see each other tomorrow. I did. I thought that said, money. I'm home. But no, honey. I'm home. Oh, Danny, you're back already. I thought you'd want to stay in Iki, Iki Town a little longer. Especially right after that great battle. Well, I was just captivated to see my own boy fighting in such a in perfect scene with this Pokemon. Maybe it would be great. Maybe it would be a good idea for you to try the Island Challenge thing. It's something you can only do in Alola, right? But right now, I've got a date with my bed. I danced my feet off at that festival. At night, sweetie, you get some sleep too. All right. I'll get some sleep, I guess. Dude, I really need a haircut. That's the only thing that sucks right now. I really need a haircut. Every morning gonna be like this, Mom? What beautiful weather. I wonder what today will bring me. Seems like adorable every freaking morning. If it's a cookie, he'll probably let himself in without even waiting for us to open the door. Yeah. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. Look. It didn't happen. It didn't. Oh, because it's Lily. Professor said, Hey there, Lily. Bring me that great train of roll. So, I'm here to show you that. I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon Lab if you come with me. It's, um, it's this way. Daddy? I am up. Jeez, the way she's like, walks. It was very awkward. 
Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. Buy some sick clothes. Oh, well done, Danny. You're already making friends, aren't you? What a cute little friend you found. I knew a little had to be prepared for us. We just... We just keep meeting wonderful people here. Me? Uh, well, um, thank you. My name is Lily. It's very nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looks like it's finally time for you to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself out there with Sandile. And don't be gone too long. Alright, meow. You have a very nice mother, don't you? We should get going. I'll show you to the Pokemon Research Lab. Alright. I just want a Pokemon, so can we hurry it up, girl? Jeez. Where you at? Nope. See, so you come up here? Oh, not that one. What the freak are you, lady? Oh, yeah, down, right? Because you can go down. You can only reach the professor's lab by, by treading through the tall grass here. He says his research. He says he can research moves better when he's surrounded by Pokemon. Yeah, it makes sense too. Since I'm not a trainer, though, I have to rely on using repels all the time. Do you know that using repel keeps Pokemon from attacking us, right? Not quite. But yeah, whatever. Oh, I mean Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. Yeah. Okay. I want to get a freaking encounter. It seems to have this very strange power. It used that power to save me once when I was in danger. But some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only the Professor and Kahuna, Hala, and other people I, I can trust know about it. Can you keep it secret? Yeah, you already told me this. Leave me alone. Let me get a freaking new encounter. Thank you, because I still need to put Pikachu away. So Pikachu is not on the squad, guys. Pikachu is, is, is dead. Forever. Gone forever. No longer in, in of this world. We have an awakening. Honestly, I don't know if the items are randomized, because I don't know if I could have randomized them. Might have been one of those things. A Needle Queen. I mean, it's... 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 Uh, it, uh, and I don't even know what this, what this location is. I don't know what this location is. So I don't know what to write down. That does... Well, not nothing, but... Does very little damage. The point where like I, I might I might just bite. Okay, good he looked. And he flinched. Loser. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Take a Pokeball. And stay in the Pokeball. Just stay just let's let's just, you know do one Pokemon one one Pokeball per Pokemon. Let's do that. Thank you, Nudo Queen. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you wanting to do as I please. And we get another level up. <sighs> Nothing that sucks about this. Sandy, nice stab. Definitely, we will forget Leer. The sign attack has helped us so many times, and it's going to continue to help us so many times. Nothing that sucks about Nina Queen is that it, it doesn't learn anything. It's just literally I'm going to have to teach you TMs. But Nino Queen, we will name you. Well, we can't name you Dumbo. Dumba. We'll name it Dumba. Because, you know, it's a girl. Dumba. Dude, Dumba. Because I don't remember what I called my other my other Needle Queen. My Needle Queen's in the past. Don't remember at all. But let's check out Needle Queen. The Dumba. Dumba, the Needle Queen, not Needle Queen, the Dumba. Double kick. Okay. Poison Sting. This is pretty much all that it's going to have. Like that. Okay. Wow. At least it has stab. <laughs> but we're gonna pretty much have to be teaching it moves. Daggers. But I'm gonna go up over here. One to heal and two. Uh, to uh, what's it called? Check what root that is. Yes, heal up my new queen. My newly caught new queen. Bro, I didn't even know how short Needle Queen are. They're like my height. Yes, I'm short. But they're like my height. They're 5'7. Five, 5'7 seven. Five, seven and a half. But I always say 5'8. It's like, why? Why am I gonna say, oh, 5'7 and a half? No, 5'8, dog. Leave me alone. Okay. I wanted to see what route this is. 
not letting me know. Like nothing's popping up, so I'm feeling like this might be might have been an illegal encounter. This would have been nice though. This would have been nice. I could have two ground types on the squad. The Pikachu would have been nice. The Pikachu died. And again, this Strobo would have been pretty difficult to capture, huh? Bro. I moved two centimeters. Vaporeon, that would be nice. Favorite evolution right there, dog. She's like, again, I love my water pass, man. And it's pretty bulky, dude. It is pretty bulky. It's, no, don't battle me. Don't battle me. Do what? Like, do you have a map on me, dog? Tell me you have a map on me. I think the map's in the Pokedex, isn't it? Bro. Probably doubt it. Let's go up to the bag. No. No. Okay, I don't. So, I don't know... Wait, check... Oh, man. I was about to check, like, where I caught this Nidoqueen. Queen. Oh, yeah, Rockwell. Let's go. Give it a... Get everything you got. My body's ready. Whoa! Ah, there they go again. Pokemon Research Lab has 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 its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. Sorry, I was noticing. I just noticed that you can see the Pokemon Center from here. Indiana, the waterfall too. Wow, I interesting man. I've actually been um imposing on the professor here for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's it's the least I could do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer too. Jeez. The professor, he never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch up the roof again. And I just had and I just had to wash and I just ha I I had just washed his lab coat and finally got in the clean too. Jeez. Now it'll be in shreds. <laughs> but I'm a good at mending clothes. So he'll just have to buy another another new one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. Yeah, let's go. Jeez. It is 27 minutes. Wow. Oh, because my reading is due to butter. I think that's why these episodes are long. But I like reading the dialogue, man. Hey there, Danny. Thanks for letting me... Thanks for getting him. Lovely. Of course, however, can I be a help? I am supposed. Oh wait, nope, nope, nope. That's is the lady. I'm supposed to be your assistant, right? Rocker's moves just so style, and I was just making good progress with my research. Say, Danny, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? I kind of want to speed this up, and I missed out on that dialogue, so YOLO. But that's not what I—that's not what I called you here, yeah? And finally arrived. It? What's wrong, lady? Don't don't make it. Don't make do. Don't make me do all the talking. See. There's this Pokemon inside your pocket, it's called Rotom. Really? I can tell you about Rotom. It's a particular Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up a residence in the machines. Yeah, yeah, buddy. And to put that crazy skill of Rotom's next, uh, that it's next generation Pokedex. But it's only complete once Rotom has gone into specific, the, it's this body specific, specially developed for it. Jeez. All new way for people with a Pokemon to communicate. Woo! And there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. And now if I power up your Pokédex with the with the parts I just got in. Oh yeah. Now I gotta freaking Rotom. Hey now, sorry about that Rotom. You guys are surprised. Rotom, here boy. I powered up your favorite Pokédex. Give Danny here a helping hand, yeah? Alright, jeez. That's pretty cool. I do like this idea. <laughs> Alright. There you go. Now my freaking bottom screen just isn't nothingness. See, Danny? Now Rodham can talk right to you. From w what I can tell, yeah, it looks like Rodham has taken a liking to you. And this will help ex that cow exactly? Danny hasn't been here in a lot too long yet. So I decided to give him this special Rodham Dex to help him navigate around. Thank you very much. I kind of want to end the episode off already. You can see where you're headed just by looking at the road. Oh, yes. Yeah, so now we have the map here. Okay. Yeah, now we have the map. All right. I get it. Who is he? How? What are you doing here? You loser. Have a sort of breeze. Thank 
I just, I'm, I'm done, bro. I'm actually done. There's, this is kind of literally just nothing. Howl coming in here is pretty much nothingness. Look, he's literally wasting my time. Literally wasting my time. Just, this is just, this is nothing. Doesn't look like nothing. I'm gonna skip all this. Wow, I would have had to read all this. Wowzers. Okay, well now I got the little thing because now I'm still actually storing the island challenge. <clears throat> okay, jeez, man. Bro, so much dialogue. Uh, are we done? Jeez, man. Okay. Save. Ended off already. Jeez. Oh my god, man. I thought this for the long episode. I should have ended it before this. Or I should just read faster and better. That's another thing as well. I should just do that, too. <laughs> but I ended off, guys, already. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to join the Beast Nation. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.